We have detained a number of persons, we have interviewed them, but again, due to the area where the crime occurred and there were much witnesses around, um, except for the wife who may have seen what transpired and she herself is not able to tell us definitively who the shooter is or shooters. We are at a stalemate at this time, but nonetheless we continue to do our interviews with our view to see if we'll be able to ascertain who is responsible and gather the evidence to be able to charge someone. Mr. Usher was um, found with a 9mm pistol um, under him when the investigation was, when it just happened. Um, he was charged with um, unlicensed ammunition last year, September but he had a license, um, um, 9 mm pistol. What have you to say about that, sir? Well, um, yes, indeed. When the police arrived at the shooting scene and he was examined, he did have on him a 9 millimeter um, Smith & Wesson pistol, which is licensed to him. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can say definitively that the license was issued by me. It was issued to him in 2013 by the previous commissioner, not by me. And as the commissioner, I don't have the authority to revoke a license just like that. Certainly, yes, I was looking at the, um, the progress of the case he had before the court. And once he would have been convicted for that offense where he was charged with keeping a license firearm, then I would have gone for revocation because the firearm act tells you that once you're convicted for a firearm offense, it's a ground for revocation. We had not arrived at that stage as yet, and so his license was still with him.